Hey, what's up everyone? John here from testpreppinsight.com. And today I'm gonna to be directly comparing Fluence and Rocket languages. I've purchased, used, and thoroughly tested out each of these language learning programs. And now it's time to tell you which one I think is better. So if you're ready, let's get to it. Okay, welcome back. I should just mention up front here that since I'll primarily just be discussing the areas in which Rocket is better than Fluence and vice versa, if you find you need more detail at any point, or if you really want to dive into each company's lesson structure, format, and learning framework, you can always check out our full detailed written comparison over on our website. An easy way to get there is just to Google Test Prep Insight Fluence versus Rocket Languages. It's a quick way to find it. All right, so first up here, let's quickly compare what the lessons from Fluence and Rocket are like. So, in terms of overall length, the lessons from both companies take around 45 minutes to an hour to complete, which is a little longer than the industry standard. For example, the lessons from Babbel, which is a popular language app, take around 10 to 15 minutes to complete. Now, when it comes to lesson format, though, this is where the two companies start to diverge. In Rocket's case, their curriculum is broken down into lesson modules, and to start each module, you begin with an interactive audio lesson where a host speaking in English guides you through a simulated conversation in your target language in intervals. You listen to fluent speakers converse, and then every few sentences, the host will stop to explain what you just heard, provide some context, and most importantly, ask you questions to keep you engaged. So essentially, think of these interactive audio lessons as controlled conversations. And then to conclude the audio lesson, you review what you just learned through the control conversation through several brief reinforcement exercises. This includes different variations of flashcards, speaking drills, writing drills, and quizzes. Then following these quick hit drills, you move into Rocket's language and culture lessons, which I'll talk about in more detail here in a minute. Now, Fluence's lessons, on the other hand, take a more traditional approach in which you watch and listen to an instructor on screen, introduce a new topic or concept, and then you complete a variety of drills and exercises to reinforce the material. So that's the key difference here. Rocket's lessons emphasize conversational, audio-based practice and include dedicated grammar instruction, whereas Fluence's lessons have a more classic online classroom type of feel to them. Personally, I prefer the conversational aspect of Rocket's lessons over Fluence's. I just found them to be more engaging and useful, but I realize everyone is different in this respect. And I know I covered that pretty quickly, so if you do want to dive deeper or see examples of the lessons or drills from either company, be sure to check out that full written comparison I mentioned. I'll have it linked down below in the description. I have screenshots and examples over there so you can get a better feel for how each program works. All right, so now that we've covered what the lessons from both companies are all about, let's quickly compare pricing. First, starting with Rocket. They offer two different options. You can choose between a six-month plan or a lifetime subscription. The six-month plan costs around $30 per month, while the lifetime subscriptions range anywhere from $150 up to $450, depending on how many levels you want to purchase. But just so you know, those prices are a little deceiving. Those are just the MSRPs. Rocket Languages is almost always running some sort of deal or special promotion. In most cases, you can expect to receive at least 40% off, if not more. So be sure to check the description below for coupon codes. I'll drop any current discounts that I can find down there for you. Now, moving over to Fluence, they do not offer any monthly subscription options. You either have to purchase access to each level for a specific language individually, or you can purchase an all-level package. For example, for Fluence Spanish, you can purchase level one for around $190, or all five levels at once for around $400. But unfortunately, unlike Rocket, Fluence doesn't seem to offer many discounts. Their prices are sort of what they are. So, in terms of MSRPs, the courses from both companies are actually priced pretty similar. But obviously, once you apply the discount code for Rocket, it ends up being the cheaper option by a pretty good margin. Okay, so let's get to the good stuff now and cover the main advantages of using Rocket over Fluence and vice versa. And let's start with Rocket. Pro number one in their favor is that their lessons are much better for developing your speaking and conversational skills since you're prompted to use vocabulary and respond to native speakers within the framework of a simulated conversation. You're actively involved in monitoring the conversation and the host keeps you attentive and engaged since you need to understand the situation and respond at the proper times. In my opinion, this active participation is extremely effective at helping you to recall and use the target language under pressure, just like you would in real life situations. That's the key takeaway here. You're getting simulated real world experience with Rocket, which in my opinion is about the best practice that you can get when attempting to learn a new language. And because of this, I actually think Rocket's courses overall are better suited for people looking to achieve an intermediate to advanced level of fluency of a new language. Okay, so pro number two, given that roughly 50% of the Rocket lessons are audio based, I like that you can complete these lessons while you're working out, watching your child's soccer practice, watering your garden, whatever. 
I think I speak for most people out there when I say that sometimes it's just nice to have a change of scenery and get away from your desk when you're studying. So overall, I have to give Rocket credit for how flexible their lessons are. All right, so let's move on to pro number three. And although I think both companies do a great job mixing in grammar content, Rocket just takes it to a different stratosphere. They integrate grammar content and cultural insights into their course in multiple different ways. So first, as you complete Rocket's interactive audio lessons, the host frequently stops to discuss different grammar principles and verbally explain the rules and rationale behind them. And then, as I alluded to earlier, the majority of the grammar content is delivered through the company's language and culture lessons, which take the form of a digital textbook. Rocket does a great job of breaking these lessons down into short, digestible chunks for readers. Each section within the grammar lessons is only about three to six sentences long on average. And within the lesson, there are dozens of breakpoints where you can interact with examples and images to keep you engaged. All in all, I was just really impressed with the level of grammar and cultural insights that the Rocket courses provide, as well as how the company melds this content into their lessons. Okay, so last up here, pro number four. I like that Rocket tries to gamify the language learning experience. For example, as you complete lessons and drills, you can earn points so you can keep track of your streaks and compare your performance against other Rocket users on the leaderboard. This is a great way to keep yourself inspired and motivated to keep grinding. And then in addition to the points aspect, Rocket also offers certification tests. So as you complete each module, you can choose to take a test based on the widely accepted CEFR framework. And if you score at least 80%, you'll receive a printable certificate of achievement, which I know in the master plan of all things really doesn't mean too much, but when you're trying to learn a new language, every milestone and achievement can really be a major boost for morale. So overall, I like that the Rocket program offers tools and incentives to keep your spirits high. All right, so let's turn the tables now and cover the major advantages in favor of Fluent. But before I get to that, I should mention that every single month here at Test Prep Insight, we actually give away a free language learning course to one lucky person. It's super simple to enter. Everyone out there is eligible. I'll put all the details down below in the description, but just know it takes like 10 seconds to enter and hey, you never know, you could win a lifetime subscription to Fluence or Rocket. Okay, so pro number one for Fluence is that their lessons include a heavy dose of video, which is something that's missing from the Rocket lessons and coursework. Each Fluence session starts with an introduction video in which the instructor introduces the topics and explains the basic principles for the upcoming lesson. You then complete a series of practice drills or workouts as Fluence calls them, but between these different workouts, you're prompted to watch additional videos that further explain and illustrate the content. Overall, I just found this type of lesson format where you switch back and forth between video instruction and reinforcement exercises to be very effective. Now, to tell the whole story here, I do have to say that the videos do feel a little over choreographed at times, but still, having an instructor on screen guiding you through the lessons is extremely valuable in my opinion. So bottom line, if you're more of a visual learner, you might very well prefer the lessons from Fluence. All right, so pro number two, and this somewhat relates back to my previous point, but because their lessons incorporate more instructor-led videos, the Fluence program overall just has more of a classroom type of feel to it, as opposed to a standard language learning app. And that's intentional. Fluence even states that their lessons are designed to simulate one-on-one -on -one tutoring sessions. Now, to play devil's advocate here, I think their marketing might be pushing it a little. After all, these are just pre-recorded videos, but I do have to give Fluence props. Their courses certainly have a different vibe to them than most of the language learning apps that we've reviewed. So I'd say if you're the type of person who normally excels in a classroom environment as opposed to self-studying, then Fluence might well work for you. And that about does it for the detail in this comparison. So let's get to my final verdict. Should you choose Fluence or Rocket to help you learn a new language? Well, after testing each program, I think it's a fairly easy call. Rocket wins by a pretty good margin. Although I do like that the Fluence lessons emphasize video and their program overall has more of a traditional classroom type of feel to it, which might be ideal for some types of learners out there. I still just think Rocket's language courses overall are more comprehensive and conducive for quickly learning a new language. Between their interactive, simulated conversations with fluent speakers and the level of detail provided in their grammar lessons, Rocket is just plain hard to beat. Plus, it doesn't hurt that Rocket overall is more affordable than Fluence as well. And that's all I've got for you. I hope this video was helpful and you learned a little something. If so, make sure to return the favor by subscribing to our channel, liking this video, and dropping us a quick comment below. That'd really be appreciated. And again, if you want to see that full detailed written comparison that I mentioned earlier in this video, just hop on over to our website, testprepinsight.com, or check out the rest of the videos on our YouTube channel. We've got a bunch of great content out there. But as always, thanks for watching, best of luck, and I'll see you in the next one.